Hi, I'm Ari, and welcome to my corner. Uh, today I am doing a little video about my friends and how much I adore them. Um, so, uh, I drew, to start off with what I'm drawing, I am drawing all of my friends as D&D characters. I did them one at a time, and I did the sketch before I started filming, and I darkened it up with a, uh, a charcoal pencil, so there's that. Um, I did attempt to, like, sketch out and, like, draw the pen- draw while filming, but it didn't work very well, so we are just, um, you're gonna see me darkening up the sketches here. Uh, but I did the- I drew all of my character- I drew characters, my friends, they might as well be characters, um, as busts, as, uh, d, &D characters. So, um, I'll tell you what the, uh, race is for them when I get to them. Uh, but we're gonna get started. Um, so this first one here that I'm doing is Marshall. Marshall is my best friend. I've been friends with her since grade 3, and oh my god, it's been a long time since we became friends, and oh my god, she's my best friend. I do a lot of stuff with her. Uh, currently though, she kind of can't do a shit ton because she broke her wrist, but I, uh, I care for her a lot anyway. Uh, but I am drawing her as a half-orc. Um, this is what she chose to be drawn as, so this is what I'm drawing her as. Um, I adore her so much. So much. I guess I wouldn't be friends with her for so long if I didn't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so me and her are both, uh, main DMs for our, uh, for our groups, so we both DM. Um, I play in her campaign and she plays in mine. Um, and, yeah, we just enjoy each other's company. Um... I really enjoy her. Her company is great. Her drawing is good. Me and her go on doodle dates together. So I'll go somewhere and draw. Which is also so very fun. I enjoy doing that with her. Um, I don't really do it with anyone else, but I mostly do it with Marshall. We'll just go out somewhere and draw in public. Woo, drawing in public. Um, so yeah, I drew her as a half work. Um, but yeah, that's my friend Marshall. I totally adore her. Um, but yeah, she currently has a broken wrist, so she can't do a whole bunch. But, um, other than that, she's a- I- she'll do it. i do anything for her, and oh my god, she would do anything for me. <laughs> she, uh, recently told someone off for me, so I really do appreciate her. She is definitely one of my best- she is my best friend, and I don't know what I would do without her. I'm in a pretty good spot because of her at the moment, so I always know she's there to talk to if I need to, so, and she doesn't get mad if I rant about stuff again uh, with her, so that's always appreciated. Um, anyway, so that's Marshall. I, um, also drew Marshall as a more masculine figure, because they're, uh, they're, uh, gender fluid, so, um, I tend to draw her more masculine side than the uh, feminine side, so that's why I did that. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, the next one I drew was Kim. Kim is a, um, non-binary, but I drew her more feminine. Uh, I drew her as a trident. Um, tridents are wonderful races in D&D. She really likes sharks. Her and Marshall both really like sharks, so... And she's always there to talk to as well. I really do enjoy her. I met her at work. Um, so I really do enjoy her company. We would talk for hours about D&D at work. And she eventually started playing D&D with me, so that was always... That was lots of fun. And she enjoys playing D&D in my campaign, and she enjoys playing D&D in Marshall's campaign, and she even wants to start her own campaign, so I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's a wonderful girl, and she's, she definitely doesn't, uh, hesitate to tell you if there's something wrong. Uh, so, it's always nice. I, I, I envy the extroverted people in the world that I know, because it's like, you have so much confidence to say what you need. 
and and like everything and I'm like I can't do that I'm an introvert I get nervous every time I have to do something horrible to you guys in D&D so you know life so um you know she gives me she gives me life in this world and I drew her very cutely with her uh, with her hair and her fins and everything so um yeah Kim's wonderful I enjoy her company and um she is lots of fun to talk to and she's very rational when it comes to stuff and reasoning and everything so it's always nice to be like hey I did this is this okay like did I was I rude um because every now and again when I feel like when, when I have a burst of confidence and I say something I have to like double check to make sure the thing I said wasn't rude and normally it isn't but you know some people don't take things so nicely so yeah so I enjoy Kim Kim is wonderful I totally 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 love Kim I love Marshall too honestly though so of course I love Marshall Marshall's my best friend uh but Kim's definitely one of my closest friends and I really like her having her around so I don't think I'd be able to live my life without her either so yeah I really enjoy her um and then um the next one is Aiden Aiden is also non-binary I drew her more masculine than feminine I was supposed to be non-gender because I she wanted she's a warforge so um they're not supposed to really have a gender anyway so hers was more non-binary no gender thing type of thing and i drew her as warforge a more uh defined warforge with like light nice sculpting and everything so she actually looks almost like an elf but not quite uh there is like spots where you can see the bolts and stuff um she refers to herself as a robot a lot, so she wanted to be drawn as a warforge, and I'm like, that's possible. I can I can manage that. I've never drawn a warforge before, so this was my attempt, and I hope it wasn't- I hope it was alright. Um, but I really enjoy Aiden. Me and Aiden are quite quiet when it comes to, like, being in the group and everything. We tend to sit back and listen to other people talk, but we do have our own things to say. Um, but yeah, she's a chaotic being and it comes out in d, &D. <laughs> but I, I enjoy her company anyway, and she's, she's a wonderful person. All of my friends are wonderful people, they're always there to listen, and I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I like being able to sit and talk with my friends about anything and have them be like, yeah, that makes sense, or yeah, it's okay, you're allowed to rant, and I'm like, yes! My friends are wonderful, and I enjoy them so very much. Um, the fourth one I drew is Hannah. Hannah is um, a nice, a nice person I met at work recently, actually. Um, and me and her uh, started bonding over some weird stuff like anime and um, a story I told because um, they were she. Her and um, our other coworker, like, basically any fairy tale could be um, a true story at some point. I'm like, yeah, that's possible. I'm like, even like Little Red Riding Hood. I'm like, yeah. And then I told this elaborate story of how Little Red Riding Hood could be a possible thing, which I should write down sometime because I like that idea. Um, but uh, yeah, and we bonded over that. <laughs> and then I invited her to D and D. And now we're bonding over that, and she really enjoys it, so I'm happy I could give her something she enjoys through one of my hobbies that I enjoy, especially since she's so sweet. Like, she's always, like, gifting me things, and I'm like, I don't need you to gift me things. I really do not need gifts. I really don't. But she insists on giving me gifts, so I'm like, okay, I guess. I'm always very appreciative when she decides to give me something. When anyone decides to give me something, I'm like, oh my god, thank you, because I don't actually expect people to give me things. So it's always nice when someone does, but I never expect it. 
I don't I don't feel like people should give me things. <laughs> so that's just me. Um but no, I enjoy her company. I enjoy her company a lot. She's always giving weird ideas that and sometimes I don't talk clearly. Um and she always mishears what I say and then something that she mishears that I say like the word kraken. She heard cracker. I decided to like, okay, the Kraken's now named Cracker. So it gives things either weird names or something else. So far we've just given the Kraken a name like Cracker. So life is good. Um, alright. Um so the fifth friend I did was uh Brittany. Um I've been friends with Brit since grade 8, I believe. So not as long, but I did meet her through school through another friend. Um, I didn't end up staying friends with them, but I ended up staying, friend ended up staying friends with Britt. Um, Britt's nice most of the time. She's very quiet and doesn't always have an opinion, but I enjoy having her around anyway. Even if it's just to listen to her talk about um, trips she's been on because you know you need to have that person who tells the stories I enjoy those people because then I don't have to talk but sometimes I need to be able to talk because I'm DMing and we're supposed to be playing D&D &D. I don't know it's a yin and yang situation but I do appreciate her too because she also does allow me to rant Honestly, if you're in my car and we're going for a drive, you have to pre be prepared for me to go on a rant about something. Because I will, depending on how I mood. Sometimes if I'm in a very bad mood, I will rant about something. Um, right. Um, the uh, next uh, two that I've drawn are my online friends. So people I've met while talking online. The first one I met when I was 15 and her name is Tarna. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right because I've never actually physically talked to her. I've only actually just typed things on the keyboard and I've only had to read her name. So I don't know if it's right. Have I been pronouncing your name wrong all this time? Oh my god, Tarna, please tell me. Oh my god. Um, anyway, hopefully she corrects me if I'm wrong. But, um... So, um, I actually asked her and my other friend what they wanted to be drawn as. Like, I draw- I asked most of my friends what they wanted to be drawn as. Some of them I just didn't give a choice to. Like, I didn't give Hannah a choice because I drew Hannah as an elf. I didn't give her a choice because elf worked perfectly for her. So I'm like, no. No, I drew you as an elf. This is what you get. She's a very pretty elf. Um, but, um, back to Tarna. Wait, no, I drew Brit as a, as, as a gnome. No. Yeah, it was a gnome. Yeah, I drew Brittany as a gnome because she's short. Yeah, that's what she wanted to be drawn as, too. So, sorry, I had to get that put in there because I forgot to mention it. Um, and I drew Tarna as a halfling. Yeah, as a halfling because that's what she wanted to be drawn as. And, um, I, I enjoy talking to her too. She allows me to rant too, like over texts and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we've been talking for a while and she, we're always asking each other how we're doing and everything. So we do care about other, uh, each other's feelings and everything and what's going on in our lives. And she was, she was very understanding when I was no, when me and my ex broke up so she uh was very understanding and let me have a bit of space and everything so i appreciated her for that um well the last one i drew was a suke like a suke doodles because um uh me and her became friends over the period of time uh where we started doing collabs so it's almost been a, it's been a year now a little over a year and uh, we've become really good friends. We don't talk as often as we would like to, but 
it's still really fun to send stuff back and forth and to have conversations and she's super nice and I super like talking to her. I miss talking to her because she's always so funny and sweet. Um, but I do want, me and her do understand that life gets busy and sometimes you do not have time to talk to the people you want to. So, um, yeah. but, um, she's super understanding and I'm super thankful for that. I hope I drew her right. I had to stalk her Facebook for this, so I'm, I'm sorry, Suke, but I had to stalk your Facebook to see what your hair looked like and I hope I did it justice. Oh my god. She's gonna comment saying I did it wrong. <laughs> sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I love my friends. They're super, super helpful with helping me get through stuff, especially when I had that hard point, um, this year. They were always there to help me feel better and to talk to me or just go on drives with me and make me feel like I wasn't alone. Um, they were very, very supportive and I appreciate them for that. Especially when I needed them. So, I, I appreciate my friends more than they will under understand because I love them they're definitely one of the main people in my life that I care about uh, them and my family but um, they uh, it's just easier to talk to my friends most of the time so I'm just always talking to them about stuff they talk to me all the time too because I kind of act like a therapist <laughs> but um, they uh, they're very understanding and very very um, good at helping me with stuff when I need them, so I do appreciate them. Um, and I, I love them to bits, and I don't know where I would be without them. I'm so happy to have all of my friends, because they're wonderful people. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to uh, leave you to enjoy the uh, rest of my video. Um, I don't know how much of it is left because I did the voiceover before I actually shrunk down any of these videos. Um, the voiceover probably doesn't connect with the video or who I'm talking about, but I did write the name of all of the friends. And I did tell you what I drew them as, so hopefully you can figure out which one's which. Uh, but, um, I, uh, I just needed to do this so my friends knew how much they meant to me. I'm sure they knew that I love them, but they needed to know that I appreciate them for everything they've done for me and um, everything they keep doing for me because I can get in pretty bad points at times but I'm pretty good at hiding it most of the time because they keep me happy. I, uh, everyone needs someone like that in their lives and you know being around people helps me be less depressed so I do appreciate having them around because they keep me in company, but I will, uh, I will, uh, talk to you guys later, um, hopefully next week at some point. I don't know what video you're going to get, but you're going to get a video, um, but, uh, for now, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video, um, and I will, uh, talk to you later. If you liked my video, you could give me a thumbs up, that would be appreciated. Um, and if you have some constructive criticism, you can leave me a comment down in the comment section down below, that would also be appreciated. And if you liked my video and want to see what's coming up next week, because I don't know what it is yet, uh, you can um, subscribe and uh, watch all my other videos I have. I have a video about sketchbooks from last week you could watch, or, um, you know? I have a bit, I have a, I know I have a video about one of my D&D characters somewhere. If you look in the hard enough, you'll probably find a couple. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.